Hey everyone, it's Mr. J coming at you. I know it's been a while. Yeah, but it's been kind of crazy. And I just realized that it's been two months since I, um, it's been two months since my, um, transportation situation video. And I was going to give you a part two on that. So, so basically, if you remember anything from part one, you know that I was, you know, you know that I, you know that I was basically scrambling to get the appointment in the first place. Because you know how, because you know how doctors are always jamming people up when time comes, right? So. I get to the I get to the appointment that they scheduled me for at the time, which was at around two thirty. But I happened to get there a little early, so I sat around for a while. But when I actually got there, I uh, I had to take I had to take a little. No, I had to take a little, I had to take the, I had to take a little, you know, I had to take a little equipment with me, so, I took my little blood pressure cup that I got in friend mail, because um, my doctor said I needed one, so actually, when I got there, it's crazy, because I got there, and I showed the doctor the blood pressure cup that I got. And apparently, it wasn't, apparently it wasn't the one that I was supposedly supposed to get because they couldn't read any of the numbers to understand what it was actually telling me. <laughs> but the, but the, but the whole, but the whole trippy thing about this was, <laughs> when I got, when I, the whole trippy thing about this was when I finally got to the appointment. Now they set me for now they set me up for two o'clock. They now they set me up for two thirty. So I figured I would get there early enough to uh to get to my appointment, go back home and do whatever I, I gotta do that day, right? Wrong because once I got there I set up I set up in the lobby for about twenty minutes. Then when I got up to when I, then when I got up to see the doctors, I was up in there for about an hour and a half. And that was around and it wasn't until then that a doctor came to to check up on me. Now mind you, I was only supposed to be there to get to get no sin. I was only supposed to be there to get no to get notified about my blood work that I had done a couple months before that. So, as the doctor was sitting there telling me what's going on with the blood work and everything I had to do and get my medications and stuff, my my trans my transportation that I use to get to and from called me in the middle of my appointment. So basically, <laughs> so basically. So basically, I had to leave my appointment just to get downstairs to my ride. Just to be sure, just to be sure I wasn't stranded. And I get back home. Now that's crazy, right? Now you go now you go to your appointment thinking thinking you're going to be in and out, which, which you know you never are, because something's always happening, because every time you go to the doctor, there's always, there's always so many people going there, to the point where they jam you up, to the point where the doctor goes back and forth, and they don't know, and they don't know exactly what's going on in, in their heads, so you think, 
Okay. And but check this out, right? I was even there long enough to get a test that that I don't even need. And the test that and the test that I took that I did and the test and the test that I took didn't even take ten minutes. Now you know if you're there that long to get a test that you don't even need and the test that you and the test that you take and the test that you take is quicker than the reason that you come there in the first place. You know you know somebody's got some issues. So basically by the time all this was, by the time all this is done, <clears throat> the doctor. So basically, by the time all this was done, the doctor told me what he had to tell me, and he and the doctor told me what he had to tell me, and he want and and he, and he wanted to give me some more papers. To uh, they wanted to give me some more papers to look over. For. The next go around when I show up, but I wasn't there. But I wasn't there long enough to get the papers because I had to go. So I guess the moral of the story is whenever you. I guess so. I guess the moral of the story is whenever you have an appointment with it, with the doctor. Make sure, make sure you always get it early enough to where you, you don't get caught out there and get stranded like I almost did. Hope everybody's having a good day. And I'll definitely be talking to you again soon, everyone. Peace.